Hello, my wonderful friends. Meg is here on a beautiful evening in Asha, and I'm just, I can't even describe to you how full of love I am for you guys and how blessed we are to have this little book of magic. My friends, this book, Asha, it's inspired by the 2600 year old Magi text, and magic was named after the Magi, my friends, and this book is magic. It will bring peace into your life, joy into your life. This book changes lives, my friends. And I, I can't even begin to describe to you what this means to me. When I just see the book, the orange color, the sunburst on it with the 16 rays that represent this 16 statements and teachings of Asha. When I open it up and I just see BFA books and it's got the phoenix right there, my friends, and my God, I have been through the fire. Everything about this book resonates with me. The very first page says, realize you are from good spirit, made of good spirit, and will return to good spirit. That alone gives people such hope that nothing can separate you from God, my friends. I don't know what you've been told, what lies have been whispered to you, nothing will separate you from God. It says when you understand this, your vibration rises. It has to. It brings a peace. It brings a joy. It brings those high frequencies. And it says then you become a mighty spiritual force creating in the plastic medium oh, of creation. That's magic, my friends. Oh my God. Your vibration rises. Your frequency rises. And you begin forming. Asha 13 says that when our spiritual world is made straight, our material world comes in order. That's magi, magic. Asha 4 teaches you how to do magi, magic. And then Asha 15, my God, tell the truth, it says. It says, giving true witness, a man will be saved. Think and speak truth. My friends, that's magic. When you think and speak and believe, I am divine life and death cannot enter. I am divine health and sickness and disease dies when it touches me. My God, you start speaking this. And I've taught this before. I'm not going to do a whole teaching on it. But we speak with our frequency. My friends, we speak our prayers, our spells are what we are and the word that we hold. It says, think and speak the highest truth, Asha, and it will form. My friends, that's how we make form and matter with the word, the vibration, the frequencies that we hold. It warns us to, to not worry or strive to make it happen. My friends, you can't kick the door down for this. You can't worry it into existence. Matter of fact, when you worry, you're actually praying for the worst outcome. Because like I told you, the frequency, the belief, the word that you hold is what's coming to you, what's going to form. So if you're whole, holding worry and doubt, that's what's coming to you. That's, that's why people say their worst fear has become upon them. My friends, we've got to watch what frequency and beliefs we hold. And then this is everything. I love it right here. It says, don't strive to make something happen. Don't try and force it, just align. We align our frequency with the frequency of Ahura Mazda, the loving father. But my friends, most people don't know who the loving father is, who Ahura Mazda is. Jesus said that no one comes to the father but through him. My friends, that's how you're going to find out if you have the real Jesus. <laughs> because he will take you to the Father. And you know when you go to the Father, because he brings a peace to you. He brings joy to you, protection and provision into your life. You know when you've met the Father. My friends, the, G, the, the Magi were the ones that followed the star and worshipped Jesus. My friends, and we still do that today. We know the true Jesus, and you can too today. I, if you don't have it already, my friends, Asha by Winston Head. 
It's available at Amazon. Get this book and do me a favor, please. Leave a review. Every one of you that gets this book, leave a review. My God, we need to get this message to the world. And the more reviews there are, the more we're moved up in the algorithm, the, the more they promote us. And my friends, we're selling a lot of books. I, I, I wish I was good at making a YouTube channel as I am about selling books. And I'll tell you why I like to sell books. Because we get money for the books we sell. And here's what I like about getting money for the books we sell. I give it all away. My friends, we give it to charity. We feed the hungry. We clothe the poor. We give medical attention to children in need, my friends. We give a life-changing message and we do good. That's what the Magi do, my friends. We, we think good thoughts. We speak good words. And we do good things. What else could we do? It's our nature. Because in truth, we come from good spirit. And we're made of good spirit. And we shall return to good spirit. I, I want to read the very first statement from Asha. I love it so much. It says, Asha, I am God's thought. Think about that. You are God's perfect thought. What else could a perfect creator have but a perfect thought about you in this world, my friends. And, and that's the real above all real. And, and what you see that's not that, maybe in your life, that's lie and illusion. And you can make that go away. You can make new form. You can work magi, magic, my friends. Asha, I'm God's thought. I live in God's idea. Perfection. The perfect creator had a perfect idea. You, you can't force it. You can't worry your way into it. You can't roll around on the ground and think you're a worm and beg out to a deity in the sky. You can't kick the door down. You can't strive for it. All you can do is align your energy. That's what Jesus, that was his message. He said, verily, verily, I say to you, he who hears, holds my word, has God life. Well, what is his word? I'm glad you asked that. Go to Asha 13. Do you want to get this book, my friends? I know you do. Go, go to Amazon. Get Winston Head's Asha, my friends, inspired by the 2,600-year-old magic text, and leave a review. In Asha 13, it tells us what the original word is. It says, the original word is all good comes from the Creator, and no evil comes from Him. And from this original word, your spiritual world is made straight and your material world is brought into order. Here's what the false world religions teach. And that's what, I'm going to show you why the world looks like it does. Why it's, it's at love sometimes and hate sometimes. It's at peace sometimes and war sometimes. My friends, it's because of the spirit, the God they've taken into. Here's the false word. There's two words. You must understand that we work out of the original word. Asha, the perfect creator's perfect idea. But here's the false word. It says the original word of false religion is that evil comes from the Creator. And in this false idea is all the evil that creatures suffer. All the suffering, all the suffering, all the suffering in this world, in your life, my friends, comes from the false word that evil comes from the Creator. And I'll tell you why. Because if you think your God, your highest principle of good can get angry and hate and jealous and war, kill men, women, and children. My friends, if he can hold those lower frequencies, that's the spirit, the God you've taken into you. That's the frequencies you're holding. That's the word you're holding. My friends, we create, Asha 4 teaches us, Magi Magic, we create with word. The word that you're holding is the form and matter you create in your world. It's simple and it's powerful and it's the real above all real, my friends. Who's ready to join us here in changing this world back to the perfect creator's perfect idea? My friends, we also got these hoodies I got made up. We got every different kind of color you can imagine. And I wanted it so that you can show your pride for, for our holy book. And my friends, I, I promise you, I've read them all. And there's no other holy book out there like the original monotheistic religions or astronism because it's all good. My friends, it's not mixed. You, you don't get confused by it. You don't have a God that's telling you to 
kill little sweet baby lambs or kill men, women, and children or do anything that would go against your own conscience. And that's supposed to be God telling you to do that stuff, my friends? You're not going to find that in the original monotheistic religion because they teach the all-good God, the loving Father, the same one that Jesus taught. Jesus, you'll remember, was a prophet to the Jewish people. A lot of people think, well, let me say this, Jesus was Jewish, but he did not practice Judaism. My friends, as a matter of fact, you want to talk about the Bible? Okay, the Pharisees, they memorized the Bible. They didn't just read it, they memorized it, my friends. But Jesus said they were of their father, the devil. So there, there must be more to God than Bibles, our Qurans, our Gitas, my friends. And I'll tell you what it is. It's the book that's written in your heart of hearts. And you're going to find that Asha resonates with that book written in your heart of heart. Nothing you'll read in here goes against your own conscience and your own intellect. My friends, a lot of the books we read, they're insulting to our intelligence. My friends, you, you won't get that with this book. Will you do me a favor today? For the, those of you that already have Asha, leave a review today, please, my friends. We, uh, my favorite thing to do is get a big fat check and feed thousands of people, my friends. And I'm ready to do it again. Just last week I said, hey, we, we, we sent out 1,500 more meals, but I'm ready to do it again. I, I get antsy, my friends. I like to do something. And every time you leave a review, you're doing something. You're putting food in someone's mouth because it's moving us up in that algorithm. So if you already have Asha, go leave a review at Amazon, my friends. If you don't have it yet, go get Asha and leave a review and share it with people. Share this video with someone, my friends. Hit that little arrow right now, please, and share this message with somebody. Do something, my friends. You're changing lives. There's more to this life than just surviving. We were meant to thrive here, my friends. Be a part of what we're doing here at the Order of the Magi. In the drop down description, uh, I'm going to put a link to Asha. I'll put a link to our hoodies, my friends. And for those of you that have been working so hard getting this message out, I'm so proud of you and I love you guys so much. We'll see you next time.